Hi guys, it's Mrs. Allison. We are going to talk about the last type of graphing, which is intercept form. So we need to be able to identify what intercept form is. So intercept form is the equation that looks like y equals a, notice they've all had that a in the front of them, times x minus p times x minus q. You'll be able to recognize intercept form. It's the only form that looks like it has been factored, um, and that will come into play a little bit later on. So the first step to be able to graph an intercept form is to identify the x-intercepts. So to do that, the x-intercepts are the values x equals um, p and x equals q. Now, we're going to put a little asterisk by this because we like to think of this as the opposite of p and q. The reason we like to think of it as the opposite of p and q is because you can see that we happen to have negative signs right here and right here. We don't like those negative signs. We want signs to be positive, and the problem with that is they're not. So we like to think of it as the opposite of P and opposite of Q. All right, so now what we're going to do is once we find our x-intercepts, we know that the axis of symmetry has to be halfway between the x-intercepts. Why? Because the graph is symmetrical. I am not sure what I'm spelling. The graph is symmetrical, and so therefore, the x-intercepts have to be evenly spaced around the axis of symmetry. So we know the axis of symmetry is halfway between the x-intercepts. All right, once we know the axis of symmetry, we know we can find our vertex. And remember, our vertex is an ordered pair where the x value is the axis of symmetry and the y value here that we're going to plug in for, we are going to plug our axis of symmetry in, a o s in to the equation to find y. We're going to plug it into the equation to find y. That's how we're going to find the y value of our vertex. Now the last thing that you should look at is what does a tell us? And a is still the same a it was in standard form and in vertex form and now in intercept form. So if a is a positive number, then my parabola will be facing upright. But if a happens to be a negative number, my parabola will be facing down. So let's look at how we can use these four steps to graph something that's in intercept form. All right, do you see this equation? y equals x minus 1 times x minus 3. Notice this looks like it has been factored, so therefore it is in x-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find my x-intercepts. And I know that my x-intercepts are the two points x equals positive 1 and x equals negative 3. I know that because p and q I want to think of as the opposite of p, opposite of q. So I am going to place these on a graph. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot for my x-intercept. I'm going to put one at positive one, and I'm going to put one at negative three. All right, now I need to find my axis of symmetry, and I know my axis of symmetry is going to be halfway between those two points. Well, halfway between those two points is the equation x equals negative 1. 
So x equals negative 1, I'm going to draw a line at x equals negative 1. So to find my vertex, remember that I am going to take x equals negative 1, and that's going to be the x value, and what I'm going to solve for is the y value. So I'm going to take negative 1, and I'm going to plug it into my equation everywhere I have an x. And I'm going to do some good algebra, which tells me I have negative 2 times positive 2, which means y is negative 4. So my vertex is the ordered pair negative 1, negative 4. Let's see if I can fix that 4. Negative 1, negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to go and graph negative 1, negative 4. Right there. And then I'm going to sketch a nice smooth curve. Ooh, much easier done on a whiteboard. Um, that should actually go through the vertex. Let's just start this all over. Graph doesn't look very good. Okay, let's see if I can draw this better. Using my finger on an iPad is not always conducive. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's try that again. X-intercepts at positive 1 and negative 3. We know we have an axis of symmetry at negative 1. And we have a vertex at 1, 2, 3, negative 4. A little bit better. And then I'm going to try to draw a nice smooth curve. A little bit better. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so we have a parabola with two x-intercepts, and the x-intercepts are the points negative 3, positive 1. My axis of symmetry is halfway between those two values, and then I plug in my axis of symmetry to find the y value of my vertex. Now, the last thing we didn't talk about was the a value. Notice in this problem that my a value that's listed there is actually 1, meaning a is positive, and so my graph should be facing right side up. And since it does that, I know I've graphed it correctly. Hopefully this helps, and we will talk again soon.